Hello guys, today I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve this unique Windows desktop customization. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be happy with the result. Without wasting much time, let's go straight to the point. First thing you're going to do here is to hide your desktop icons. To do that, just right click on your desktop here and go to view. On that view, you're just going to go down here to show desktop icons and click on that. As you can see, we don't have any more icons on our desktop. Don't worry, your icons are just hidden, they are not deleted. And you can repeat the process to get your icons back on your desktop. So the next thing we're going to do here is to customize our Windows tax bar. And to do that, we're just going to go to our Microsoft Store here. And here, you have to search for this app called Translucent TB. Okay, once you get this, just click on that. And here, you're just going to click on Get. Once installation is complete, click on open, minimize this and here you're going to click on continue. As you can see here that we have this transparent taskbar. However, I'm going to go here to this right side and click on this arrow up icon and here I'm going to right click on this translucent TB icon and um, go up here to desktop and here I'm going to choose acrylic. Just select that. All right, as you can see, we now have this translucent taskbar looking good and all that. So the next thing we're going to do is to add a wallpaper to this desktop. To do that, we're going to go to our browser. I'm using Google and here I've already prepared this wallpaper. You can download this wallpaper or you can use any wallpaper of your choice. To download this wallpaper, just go ahead and click on this download icon. It says done. So we're going to add on to the folder. As you can see here in this download folder, we have this JPG file. Just right click on it and set as desktop background. Now, if we go into our desktop, we can see that we have this beautiful image right here. And we're not done yet, guys. Now we're going to be needing some third party apps. And don't worry, these apps are very safe to use. Okay. First thing we're going to do is to download Rainmeter. To do that, we're going to add on to rainmeter.net and um, right here you can see this download icon just click on it select keep all right and here we're going to go on to the folder again now in our downloads we have this remeter setup just right click on it and run as administrator click on ok recommended is standard installation go on next and select install once installation is complete just click on finish after installation is complete you're just going to right click on this and select on load screen do the same for the rest. Right click on it, select on load screen. Do that all the way for everything right here. We're done with the Rainmeter. We're going to go to the next step. This is the part where we start adding Rainmeter skins to our Rainmeter. Now we're going to head on back to the browser. And this time in visualskins.com, we're going to be downloading the MII Power Rainmeter skin. All you have to do is to scroll down here. On the left side of your screen, just select download. I'm going to go again back to the folder where it's downloaded as you can see here we already have this MII power just double click on it select install now after downloading this MI power it's like nothing is happening actually you don't see anything popping out I'm gonna add on down here to this arrow up click on that this is the remeter icon click on it and here we don't see the MI power too so you just go down here and click on refresh all once you do that, you can see that we now have the MIR Power installed in the Rainmeter. Now we're going to expand this MIR Power folder. And we're going to do the same for this power. Expand it. Here we're going to choose one of these two. B.INI stands for black. W.INI stands for white. Because I want the black widget, I'm just going to select this first one here. And I'm going to click on load. Now, as you can see up here on the left side of the screen, we have this black MIR power. I'm going to bring it down here to the left side where it's more visible down here. All right. That is where I want it to be. We're not done yet, guys. Um, we're just going to be doing this step by step and um, we're going to the next Rainmeter skin. To do that, we're going to head on back to our browser and here in visualskins.com, we're going to download Monterey Rainmeter team. On the left side as well, just going to click on download. And once that is complete, just go to the folder again. And here, as we can see, the Monterey Rainmeter, double click on that, select install. And again, we don't see anything happening. You're going to repeat the same step by going here to refresh all. And as we can see here, we have the Monterey folder. Just expand it right here. Go on to the settings. I like settings.ini, then go on to load. 
So now we have the settings. This is the part where we start adding more widgets to our desktop. In order to do that, you just go on to widgets here. Right here, I'm just going to toggle on whatever is needed. Whatever I toggle on will be going to the desktop. I'm going to toggle on this calendar and I'm just going to drag it down here first. Same goes to this monitoring. I'm just going to toggle that on. Once you get that, just drag it here. I'm going to click on continue. And I'm going to need a note. I'm going to toggle this on, drag it here, continue. And likewise, I am going to need a music to toggle it on, continue. Uh, there's one more widget I'm going to add on to the desktop. And that is the reminders. Let's toggle that on. And there we have it. Observe the way I arrange it here. This way you can do it however you want it. Okay, now I'll proceed to arrange this widget. I'm going to resize some of this widget. Just going to right click on this and going to select wide. As you can see here, we now have a wider widget. I'm going to do the same for this note. Right click on it and select wide and bring it down here. Now I'm going to do it like so. Um, guys, feel free to customize this to your own taste. Okay, you can play around with it and I'm going to change this music. I'm just going to right click on it and select wide. Okay, this is looking good. Now after doing this, I'm just going to close this widget by clicking on this red dot right here. Now I'm going to proceed to the next remitter screen. We're going to go back to the browser. Here we have the core. We have Jazz Core by Jazz Core Origins. We're going to scroll down here in github.com. We're going to go right here to this particular one that says Jazz Core V50410. And at the time of making this video, perhaps there's future update, but just click on this particular one. And once that's complete, again, we're just going to go right here and go to the containing folder. Just double click on Jazz Core and select install. After installing the Jack score, we don't do anything yet. Just going to head on back to the browser. We have two more remitter skins to download and install. First is this from github.com. We have this drop top basic version. All right. And just go on to this link and click on this download icon right here. We just go to the next one, which is fountain of colors. And here you have to create an account first and log in before you can download any file from this website. In deviantart.com, we have fountain of colors and we're just going to go right here to this download icon and click on that to download this visualizer. After doing that, just going to add on to the containing folder. As we can see, we now have the dropped up basic version right here. Just double click on that. Select install. After installing the drop top 4, just proceed again at the bottom here. We have the fountain of colors which we just downloaded. Double click on that and click on install. Once we've downloaded all the Rainmeter skins, now we're just going to focus on our Rainmeter itself. Minimize this and minimize this. Open up the Rainmeter. Click on refresh all again. Select refresh all. We're going to be using Jack's Core. So we go on to Jack's Core, expand this and go on to main, expand the main folder and go down to settings. Under settings, just click on load. Right here, you're going to click on this home icon here. Once you click on this home icon, you have different options here. Just click on M clocks right here. Left click on that. And here we have the modular clocks. On the right side, you're going to see this download icon. Just click on this download icon to download the modular clocks. Now that modular clocks has been installed, first thing you want to do is to minimize this. Just close this by clicking on this white dot right here. We're going to go to the left side of this interface and go to the upper part here and toggle this on. Once you do that, you can see that it says activated. So under here, we're going to go down to general, select general right here. Then you're going to go down. This is where you have different options to choose from. Okay. You can choose any style you want from here. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using this particular widget. Just going to click on that. Here we have this one and as we can see it's too small. To increase the size of this, just going to go down to the style options. Just highlight this. On your keyboard, just type 2. Once you do that, click on enter. Now we can see it's bigger and better. Put it to any direction you want it to be. I'm just going to leave it right here on the left side. Okay. And this is looking just good the way it is. And 
we're going to go to the next widget. Before we do that, just going to go back to the rain meter and I'm going to X on this model at clocks, close this. Now I'm going to go back to the rain meter. You can either search for it here or you can go here and click on the icon. Um, drop top four right here. Just expand this drop top. And here we're going to expand the drop down bar and just go down here to drop down bar dot I and I highlight it, then select load. Now, as you can see here, we have this drop down bar looking good, but um, I'm going to make some changes right here. First thing I'm going to do is to reduce the size. To do that, just right click on this bar right here, right click on it, go down to adjust size settings. I'm going to make this 90%. Okay, just click on that. Now you can see it's looking good and tidy. Okay, we're not done yet. We're just going to proceed to tidy this bar just a little bit. And to do that, just right click on this drop down here and just go right here, left click on this and toggle it off. I'm going to do the same for this. You can either right click on it or left click and toggle it off. Left click here and toggle it off. Left click, toggle it off. Likewise here, I'm going to do the same on this left side here. Just right click on this. I'm going to go right here and toggle it off. Toggle this off, toggle this off, toggle it off. I'm going to leave these as it is. Okay. Final widget we're going to be adding to these is fountain of colors, which is the visualizer. Okay. To do that, we're going to go back to a rain meter. Let me minimize this drop down bar. Minimize this as well. Go down here to fountain of colors and expand this. Okay. Go down here to fountain of colors dot I and I highlight on that and click on load. And as I speak, you can see some movement going on right there. And, and we're going to make some changes to make it more attractive and tidy. The easy way to access the settings for this visualizer is just to click on it. Once you click on it, the setting pops out. Okay. That is all you have to do. Now I'm going to make some changes right here. So observe guys and you can follow accordingly. On that general, um, we have this visualizer height. I'm going to drag this back to 151. Drag this further to 190 degrees. And as you can see, the visualizer has been adjusted to a vertical position. We're going to go ahead to this visualizer. Guys, you can just have a look on how I do this and follow accordingly. Okay. Now, as you can see here, we have the smaller visualizer. Obviously, that's not where I want it to be. So I'm just going to drag it to the right side of the screen here. For me, this color is just fine. Although you can change the color. If you want to change the color, you can by going to the styling. You have many options right here. It's as easy as just clicking on any of this. Once you click on this, the color changes. Okay. You click on red. If you want red, whatever color you change and you can just change it whenever you want. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And if you want a more precise color, you can just click on more. And here you can drag this to wherever you want it to be, or you can change the color tone right here. Close these settings right here. And about these power button, they all work. You have the slip button, you have the shut down button and they all work. That is it about this video guys. I hope you learned something new today and leave us a comment in the comment section. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification so you can get notified whenever I post content like this. I need your support guys to have a good day. See you in the next video. Peace out.